Neville Goddard taught this rare and powerful technique to his audience during one of his lectures at the Los Angeles Wilshire Ebell Theater. My grandfather was actually attending this specific lecture when Neville Goddard did this, and that's who I learned this technique from. And I'm going to teach you in detail how to use the knot technique, how to really use the knot technique. And I'm gonna break this down because if you're having any blocks or you're trying to find a way to manifest things fast, understanding this is gonna get you to that next level where reality will shift for you. As most of you already know, my grandfather, Elmer Olocker Jr., is a published testimonial in Neville Goddard's book, The Law and the Promise. In the chapter, there is no fiction. Neville Goddard was actually asking his audience and people that went to see him at his lectures if they would send him their testimonials, and my grandfather did that. My grandfather was also attending Neville Goddard's VIP meetings in the back of the Wilshire Ebell Theater for everyone that was having success using the law or actually just really applying it and actually using their imaginations and seeing results. So when everyone climbed a ladder in their imagination and then they climbed it in the three-dimensional world, Neville Goddard said, you could have just as easily made a million bucks in cash as you did climbing that ladder, but you must feel exactly how you felt when you were climbing that ladder, how you don't care about climbing a ladder, you're indifferent to climbing a ladder, but yet you're refusing to climb a ladder. If you can correlate that and connect that to the feeling of money, then it will come to you just as easily, just as fast, and, and just as simply. So I'm gonna teach you exactly how this works in this video, and by the end of this video, you're gonna understand, and it's gonna be your job to apply it and start using this, because once you understand this completely, you're gonna really get to that next level and connect the dots with the law of assumption, how manifestation works. All right, so right now, I want you to try as hard as you possibly can not to picture a $100 bill or a $50 bill, or a $20 bill, or a $5 bill. Do not imagine it. Do not see it in your mind at all. Do not picture a $100 bill. You just pictured a $100 bill. You just pictured a $50 bill. You just pictured a $20 bill. You just pictured these bills because you're trying not to do it. You're trying not to do it. And the more that you try to try not to do it, the matrix is trying to cover you at every every turn. So this is the secret. This is the trick, which is the not technique, which Neville Goddard discovered. Because as you know, the matrix tries to cover you at every turn when you're trying to manifest things, change everything in your world, trying to manifest things magically in your world. The matrix is designed to cover you at every corner, to at every turn you make. It's supposed to, it's supposed to to know what you're gonna do before you do it and to counter that. But the knot technique is the loophole with the subconscious mind and with the simulation. Now, I want you to try your hardest not to picture someone handing you money. Do not picture someone handing you money in your imagination. Do not do it at any, at any point in your mind right now. Do not imagine someone handing you a million dollars or $100,000 or stacks of $100 bills. Do not think of that right now. Do not do it at all, but you cannot do it. So when you say that I will not picture this, I'm not going to picture this. I'm not going to climb a ladder. I'm not, I'm not going to accept money from someone. I'm not going to allow someone to give me money. You are actually picturing yourself climbing a ladder, picturing yourself receiving money, picturing someone giving you money as you're doing these techniques, as you're doing this. And, and when you say I will not you are, you are making the assumption that you already have so much of these things, that you have a plethora of money in your life, of ladders in your life, that they're everywhere. So the, the subconscious mind of the matrix is feeling this. It's feeling that you really don't want these because you have so much of it already. So what, what happens with the matrix is it's going to put all of these things in your path. It's going to put ladders, money, or whatever you're not trying to create, what you're not trying to manifest. So you can actually experience the correlation here with your everyday life. A really good example on the not technique and how and why this works so powerfully is for me when I'm driving somewhere and I'm trying to get there in a hurry. Like I, I have a 10 minute drive, I need to get there in five minutes, but I have all these stoplights ahead of me. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself, I need this light to be green. I need this light to be green. I need all these lights to be green. But as I'm thinking that I want these lights to be green, they're actually turning red. Each and I'll, I'll hit every single light on my way to wherever I'm going. But 
If I go there and I have an hour to get somewhere in 10 minutes and I'm just enjoying driving, you know, and I, and I want to take, I want to take my time and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. I'll hit every single green light if I'm not in a hurry. But if I'm in a hurry, I will hit every single red light because the matrix can feel these. It can, it, feeling is the secret. Imagination creates reality. And what you don't want to happen is going to happen. And what you do want to happen is not going to happen. So when you say, I don't want money, and you can correlate the ladder exercise, because this is why Neville Goddard gave us the ladder exercise, and it works so well for anyone that does it, is because who cares about climbing a ladder? You, you really are, don't want to climb a ladder. You're actually refusing it. But when you court, and that's why they, they, they appear everywhere. That's why you see them everywhere. But once you connect that to making a million dollars in cash, you're like, okay, I don't want this, but I, I really do want this. So you, so you can't, it's hard for you to, ref, to connect the feeling of climbing the ladder, that indifference to it, to connecting that to millions of dollars that are going to come to you. So that's the part where you have to connect. You have to learn to connect. And you do this by becoming more conscious and aware of how the law works and then start applying it. And then start detaching yourself from the feelings that you get when you're trying to manifest money and connect that to the ladder. How you feel about climbing a ladder, who cares? Who cares if I climb a ladder? I'm going to refuse this. I'm going to disprove Neville Goddard. I don't care about climbing a ladder. But when it comes to money, am I really going to refuse someone giving me $100,000? Are you truly going to refuse that? So this entire aspect of saying, I do not want this or I will not do this creates a powerful magnetic force because... You are picturing it in your imagination and you're not attached to the outcome because you are refusing to want it and refusing to do it. This shifts you in the multiverse to the world where you get everything that you have pictured. And another really powerful aspect of this is when you use the not technique, when you truly don't want something, you are signaling a frequency of already having it to the subconscious or the simulation or the matrix. So the non-selective subconscious mind thinks you live in a world where you have so much money or whatever you're manifesting in your life that you don't need it and you don't want it. So guess what? Here it comes. And just to give you more examples of this, I'm going to give you my own testimonial of how I use this using the knot technique. I coupled it with Nikola Tesla's 369 method. And this was about my silver play button. When I was eligible, I got to like 105,000 subscribers on YouTube. And, and as, you, as you know, YouTubers, when they get to 100,000, they get a silver play button. So I contacted Google and I said, um, I, I would like to request my silver play button because I earned it. You know, I wanted it, you know, and I had this kind of attachment to it. So and I really, you know, I really wanted that kind of like a trophy, you know, for what I what I have, have accomplished and the value that I've given out, you know, just to have that feeling. So I contacted them and then they, they sent me an email back and said that I'm not eligible for the award. They told me this because I had created a video, I got a visualization where I created um, to, uh, it was a, basically a prayer for everyone that had COVID and, and helping people that had COVID, curing people that had COVID by everyone, everyone imagining you know, specific things about everyone being cured and, and COVID was no longer existent. So immediately when I created that video, YouTube took it down. They said I, I went against their guidelines, you know, medical, giving medical advice or something, whatever it was. But they gave me a warning strike for that. So this is the reason why they said I wasn't eligible. So I kind of got upset a little bit, but I didn't try to argue it with them because they said it's in our guidelines. You're absolutely not going to get it, but you can appeal. So I didn't appeal, but I went in my imagination and I appealed. And that's, that's how I appealed this. Okay. So the first thing that I did was I wrote down three times and six times and nine times. In the morning, I wrote three times, afternoon, six times, and nine times before I went to bed that I do not and I will not accept this, this YouTube award. I do not want this. And as I'm writing this three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times before I go to sleep, I'm really truly taking the feeling in that it doesn't really matter whether I get this. I don't really want it. And if I had it right now, you want to know what? I'd throw it in the trash. I don't care. I'm indifferent to it, but I'm going to fall asleep and I'm going to create this feeling. Okay, so, and at night, I would imagine myself being congratulated by my family and friends 
holding the YouTube plaque. They were like, oh my gosh, congratulations, you got that. Even sending texts to people and them texting me back. I'm sending them pictures in my imagination, just like quick rehearsals, you know, in imaginal clips, like pictures of me sending video or pictures to people with, you know, me holding it or me just, you know, taking pictures of it and sending it to people. So and people were sending me text messages back saying, oh, congratulations, you know, things like that. I was running in my mind as I'm going to sleep. The fourth day, YouTube contacts me and said, we are going to send you the YouTube play button. Didn't give me a reason, didn't say anything. Said, we, you are now eligible for it. So I didn't, I wasn't gonna argue that. I just accepted that and then it came to my doorstep like 10 days later and now it's right behind me. And this is how I applied the knot technique and essentially what I got from it, and I've used it on other occasions too, but it's essentially creating the detachment of the results of the thing that you desire, like attaching it to climbing a ladder. Like who cares about climbing a ladder? Who cares about the YouTube play button? Who cares about a million dollars? I don't care. And I already have so much of it. I already have everything that I need. Everything in my life is working out perfectly, okay? And when you get into this state, the, the, the matrix is kind of confused because it's not really confused, but it just starts giving you more of those feeling states that you have. Because if you feel like you're completely complete and full, successful, abundant, rich, and it feels this, you're just going to have a plethora of things that are just going to come to you, you know, that are based on that feeling state that you have. So it's just understanding and correlating these feeling states. Like who cares about money? You know, who cares about money? I already have so much money. Who cares about YouTube play button? Who, who, who cares about any of this? Who cares about climbing a ladder? And when you can get to that state and correlate your feeling states with this, that's when everything starts coming to you. All these doors will just open for you and the floodgates is coming, you know, and you, and you just get the same feeling states that you have, you know, and, and when it comes to you, it's just kind of like a natural feeling. You still feel the kind of the same way, but just you get kind of excited and emotional, but it's just really, really fun to truly master these techniques with the matrix because the matrix is trying to like cut, cut you off at every corner. But once you learn these techniques, you can kind of, there's nothing that it can do because it doesn't really understand what you're doing. You kind of outsmarted the matrix. So the first thing that you can really do with this is just really start understanding the difference between that. So think about the ladder, you know, think about the ladder, about you climbing a ladder, you picturing climbing a ladder, but you're writing down, I will not climb a ladder, but truly you don't care about climbing a ladder. So trying to create, correlate and connect that feeling that you had with the ladder to money or to relationships or to whatever you're trying to manifest specifically. Like, so create, so attach that same feeling, like, just like the ladder, who cares about climbing the ladder? If you climb it, you do. If you don't, you don't, but you're going to refuse it because you don't care about it. You don't have any attachment to it. So don't have any attachment to relationships. Don't have any attachment to money or success or abundance, just feel that you already have those things. Feel that you are, you're already loved, you're already in great relationships, you're already successful, you've already climbed a ladder. You know, all of these, that's essentially what the matrix is running off of and that's how it shifts you in the multiverse, the simulation, the glitches and everything. It, 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 run, it operates just like that and it can happen instantly. It's kind of like, you know, I said driving down the road, you're trying to get there in a hurry. You're like, please don't turn red light don't turn red and it turns red all right so it can it happens that quick you know it can happen that quick okay things can manifest into your world that quick and if you're just driving down the road you know and you're like you want the turn you want the light to turn red i want the light to turn red because you want to test out your new supercar zero to 60 but like turn red turn red it never turns red it always stays green you don't get what you want you get what you don't want so keep that in your mind keep that in your mind and connect the dots. Watch this video as many times as you need to. Send it who, to whoever you may think will understand this and actually start applying this as well. It can really assist them in their manifestations. Anyone that's having blocks, they can also use this. All right, that's the end of this video. I love you and I will attach a sleep meditation to the end, a card on the screen. Click on that, it's a very great guided visualization to create powerful feeling states as you're falling asleep. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.